Hi and good afternoon. Welcome to Tony DeVille, uh, your facilitator. I'm going to be talking you through the Life Masters team shift and culture shift pre-event profiling that you can get an idea of the kind of work that we do when we do a team shift or culture shift process. Before we do any kind of team building, because we act like corporate soul surgeons, we need to know exactly how each individual person is operating, what their perspectives and paradigms are, how they're relating in the workplace, what their feelings are in, in the workplace, and levels of engagement, how they fit into the team perceptions around management. And we then consolidate that all together as a group and we put that into a team perspective and we then get to understand exactly what are the dynamics. These are profiles that, that we use to assess how the team is doing, how people are feeling, their energy levels, their engagement levels, their job inventory levels, their stress levels, what they feel about leadership, trust levels in the organization, their resilience level, how they feel about their management styles. And we consolidate that into a personal dashboard. So on the top here, you will see where we fill in their name, their position, their location, telephone number, and who they report to, because we can then do reports and graphs based on managers and leaders. And on the right-hand section here, we do age, gender, uh, race, the email, and aversions, because we can do pre- and post-eventing uh, research. When this complete profile is completed, we have a very, very good understanding of the person and how they're feeling at this point in time. First graph we have is AQ or resilience. Resilience is your adversity intelligence. It's all good and well to have a, a good IQ and uh, important to have an, an EQ, but the real important thing is your AQ, your bounce back ability, your resilience to pressure, to stress, to challenges. Resilience, we specifically measure C for control. We measure your O2, which is a combination of ownership responsibility and ownership blaming and those two combined give us our, our ownership profile. R is for reach, how far into your life this reaches and E is extent of how long this is going to last for you. This graph score is out of 50 so ideally the higher is better on C, O2, R and E and this person we can see they've got a reasonably high but their reach there's, there's stuff in their life or their work infects and affects people around them. We take that AQ profile and we look at it here and we measure it then on a scale that their AQ is about 113 out of a potential 200. In general issues in life that's a little bit low. Second graph we have here is our emotional awareness profile. These first three blocks reveal what's happening in the person's past. So A is about emotional numbness, how their past is presently affecting them right now. So like when you hit, hit your nail or your thumb with a hammer, it's numb for a while. The same happens to us in life. Stuff we've gone through in our past affects us. And this person's numbness, it's three out of six. This is quite a high level of numbness. PS is physical symptoms. How does this past stuff affect them presently? This person's physical symptoms are fairly high. Once again, four out of six. And their chaotic primal thinking is how does that affect and impact their thinking process. The second half of the graph of the, these three graphs here are differentiation ability, empathy and interactivity. Generally when I see high past issues like these I'm expecting empathy to be low down. Empathy is important in sales environments, in any human facing relationship environment where engagement is important. In today's terms, we can no longer force people. We have to find people ways to coach and engage and encourage and uplift. And because of what this person has gone through primarily, it is affecting their empathy level and their interactivity level. So ideally for this graph, I would like for one, two and three uh, E and B, P, S and C, E to be low as possible. And these ideally to be as high as possible. We then go to the castle scan. This is based on the work of Lance Secretin, where we do a scan on courage, authenticity, service, truthfulness, and love. As you can see here, we have scores where we have green scores, or yellow, or red, or black. Black is absolutely danger. Red is a warning light. Yellow means it's kind of okay and green is this is ideal. So straight away when we look at this person's score we can see quite a lot of black in certain areas like service, in authenticity. This graph is courage, authenticity, service, truthfulness, love and effectiveness. The scale is on a 0 to 50 scale. Ideally 
in a perfect world this blue would f completely fill this graph but this person is like a sea anemone the more uncertain they are of the environment of the external environment to themselves the more they pull in their toes they pull in their energy they pull in their resources they pull in their engagement so same as if in the ocean if you go and touch or you frighten a sea anemone it pulls in its tentacles this is exactly the same that i see from here uh, we can see under authenticity service truthfulness and love on all of the dimensions this person is about between 15 or 10 to 30 out of 50 so this person's uh, scores here we can see them in numerical score these scores are fairly low so I would say this person is not happy where they are in their workplace the next one is the life factors around telling the truth trusting their leader trusting their workers their personal life satisfaction their their frustration levels and their worker drain levels so here we can see 73 percent 65 percent 64 percent for worker trust 26 percent life satisfaction frustration is very high work drain and once again in an ideal world this right hand scale to the right here would be full being 100% for life satisfaction, worker trust, leadership trust and telling the truth and worker drain and frustration would be down at zero but as we can see work drain and frustration is very high for this person so uh, looking across the top line I see a reasonably low resilience person with high static from their past not feeling safe in their workplace not high trust levels very low satisfaction very high frustration and work drain this person is under extreme pressure this is how the person is being managed if they're being managed perfectly ideally all of these would be zero so there are areas where this person is being managed incorrectly very differently from what they would prefer they have a preference of how they would like to be managed but how they are busy being managed by their boss or by their superiors there's a quite a large disparity in certain areas and we're able to identify those very very easily we then come along to our team fitness uh, how the person fits in how they feel the motivational drive positive part of the team on the left side and the team drag on the right side it's like your racing car with a really powerful engine but the handbrake is on as we can see here this handbrake is on this person isn't a happy person you can see that they're not really doing as much as they could be doing we look at their energy levels energy general this person's the energy that they're running here is way too high to be a sustainable on a sustainable level their most productive energy even their own assessment of themselves of what they can comprehend with and compete with the energy of their peers the energy of their manager the energy of the department this person is under extreme pressure this is not a sustainable this has been maximized this is not being optimized this is not a humane process we look at their trust levels we measure trust on a range of dimensions dependability control mutuality commitment satisfaction and communal relationships this is the possible score this is the score that they have and we have a look this person's trust is reasonably high except for a few specific areas so their trust is reasonable at 64.5 out of a hundred the job inventory is the pressure of their work this is just about all black this person there's high pressure this person is not a happy person when I see all black like this I know there's a huge problem here job inventory ideally should be zero but right now here it's 107 out of 125 danger their heartbeat is their engagement their heartbeat the higher the better they're about half a possibility and then we have stress level uh, this person's stress level is 81 out of 100 at these kind of levels it's damaging physically damaging long term medium term this person is under extreme duress when I step back from this picture I have a look at these are specific verbal comments that the person has made and I'm looking what's working well there's very little the blocks too much to do too little time what needs to happen what must be changed what are they what do they like what action is needed I can tell you from this picture this person is under extreme duress they're carrying substantial baggage from the pot their fairness factor of their workplace up here in the middle and the top they don't see their workplace as fair they don't feel that the money they're getting for their their effort and their time and their risk is fair and their fear factor or their concern factor is 77 percent this is way too high this person is going to crash and this isn't a person that you can count on as they say in a team you're only as strong as your weakest link this person's the weakest link and they need a, a substantial amount of work support assistance coaching and guidance to ensure that they have a, a safe and constructive way forward I thank you for your time that's been our whirlwind tour of our profiling system